Let's take a look at how tonight's nominees brought each story to life. Production design. Pat Campbell, appropriate adult. Janet Leach? Yeah. This way, please. Detective Superintendent Bennett's waiting for you. Janet Leach, the appropriate adult, sir. Sorry for calling you in at this time of day. Probation and social services had no one available. Do you mind if I ask who it is? It's a 52-year-old man. Well, with learning difficulties. Well, all I can say is that we've been advised to have an appropriate adult. Joel Collins, Daniel May. Black Mirror, 15 million merits. David Roger, Great Expectations. Donal Woods, Judy Farr, Downton Abbey. What do you think, Mary? Perfect. Oh. Easy. Get downstairs with those now. BAFTA goes to David Roger for Great Expectations. Thank you very much. I think this, this, this work is probably almost at the top of any designer's wish list to do, so it was a bit of a dream to get this job. How yeah. are you feeling? Well, very, very pleased actually, because it was um, it was such a lovely job, and this is sort of the icing on the cake, really. How long did you spend in the research and planning stages? Um, probably about four or five months, to be honest. I knew the novel because every designer always wants to design Great Expectations because of the famous iconic sets and Miss Havisham's house and all that. So, so, um, and then. Uh, about three months prep, and then we were off. And had you been influenced by any of the other productions of it? You said you read the novel, but had you seen any of the other productions in the well, past? Well, you can't avoid the David Lean film, which, he, which you're judged against, of course, so it's fairly terrifying. <laughs> um, but that's a 1940s black and white film. So what I, what, I, what I really liked, actually, about the script, the Sarah Phelps version, was that she had sort of um, really fine-tuned the novel, um, made, it, made it, to me, more of a 20th century sort of psychodrama about a dysfunctional family. So you got a lot, um, there wasn't so much of the whimsy you get in Dickens. It was a very, very intense. And we treated it a bit like a piece of Strindberg or a piece of Ibsen. So just to give everybody a really hard time, really. <laughs> so is there <laughs> no a part, laughs. Is there a part you're most proud of? It has to be Miss Havisham's house, really. And I would like to have a nod to Gillian Anderson here because she had a very definite interpretation of the role. She started off very young and beautiful and she did an amazing journey where she declined into a quite, quite a terrifying, demented woman. And we mirrored that in the house. It was, it was very much influenced by her. We used to go in at night and add bits of fungus and damp and... Um, so when she came in the morning, it'd be something even more horrible for her to wade through. Slowly deteriorating. Yeah, yeah. But yes. she was lovely. Well, very well done. Congratulations. Enjoy the rest of your evening. I will now. Thank you very much Thank indeed. You. Thank you.